it is surprisingly another dull day in the UK. She is not looking happy. <laughs> so that means we treat ourselves to some shopping, I guess. I have not been to Primark since my last video. Make sure to go check that out. But we are going to go and have a look. Obviously, I have seen so much stuff on TikTok, which is always the main reason I go anywhere. Like, TikTok just influences everything. But as you know, I only shop for my needs and not my wants. Even though as much as I would like to buy all of my wants. <laughs> I just hope I don't spend too much. Like, 50 is a limit to me. You know, like, the 9 to 5 is, does not treat us as good as we wish. So we'll just see what happens. Obviously, right now, I can't even tell you what is going to happen in this video. So... Let's just go shopping and see what happens. Okay, besties, it is time to go to Primark. It's actually been a few days since I went, so we're going to see what we got together. As you can see, um, Primark was absolutely packed, which I hate. I absolutely hate this. But this eyeshadow that I'm about to show you kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay one, you know, the really viral one. That is, it's so pretty, but I'm just not in my eyeshadow era right now. I don't know if you're like me, but I kind of just go in and out of loving eyeshadow for some reason. They still have loads of their Bobbi Brown dupes. I have two of these already because they are just really amazing. This shimmer spray is new, I believe, but I just, yeah, I don't really love it. Plus, they were really greasy and I hated that. This is the foundation section and they had this new airbrush foundation, which kind of reminded me of Charlotte Tilbury. So I did pick this up in the shade Ivory, which is the lightest one. I hope it's not too light, though. That was £6 and I went to the I Heart Revolution section and they had some of these glazed serums which looked like an absolute mess but they kind of remind me of like the Glow Recipe one. I think they're like kind of glittery. This was me stalling because I wanted to go to the concealer section um, but they still have some of these juicy glosses that are like Lancome dupes and then I went ahead and picked the one, <laughs> one next to it because I thought this was also one but it's actually like a glue. I do need a new powder but please let me know if you think Primark powders are any good. I don't know what to do with powders at the moment the only one i have is the elf halo glow and i mean i've run out of it now but now let me show you the thing that i actually come for which was these copies or not copies dupes of the tart like shape tape but they just had the dark shades and no light shades so that kind of upset me like i've seen it all over tiktok and i well i was assuming they weren't going to have it because everything gets sold out when once it's on tiktok so then to cheer me up a bit, I went over to the nail section. These are, I actually have them on right now and I love them. They, they last for like two weeks and I just don't know why no one talks about them because they are really good. I'm going to show you a few of the ones I actually picked up. Look how many they have though and they're all different styles. So if you like shorter nails or if you like longer ones, they've got some for you. But here is just a few that kind of caught my attention i love these pink ones and i did end up getting these because ah, we love a little pink moment and we'll, you'll see the rest of what i brought at the end of this haul at the end of this video i mean they also had some of these like Olaplex olaplex dupes i think these are they had their like leave-in conditioners heat protection cream i mean i don't do a lot of things to my hair but i thought you guys might want to see this this other section that i did show in my previous video hasn't really changed too much but i thought i'd quickly show you some of the things that they had um i love the packaging of the section this reminds me of like holidays and summer so i mean bring it on i don't know what this is a dupe for but they have this papaya cleanser um i don't know if you like that but yeah <laughs> they had also they had the raspberry lip masks these are obviously a dupe for laneige a avocado serum and a kombucha glow moisturizer I actually picked up the avocado serum because it kind of reminded me of glow recipe and i mean we will give that a go but that was it in the makeup section and then we went to the cloves and i mean metallic belay flats i mean it's going to be a good day because <laughs> that's kind of i wasn't expecting that when i first walked in and then there was even more metallics i went over to the new collection which is by rita aurora and i mean yeah this bag was surprisingly heavy like, i think it's just fully beaded um yeah that was kind of a crazy thing to look at but this was the kind of front of that section, quite a lot of um, basics and a lot of like summer dresses and skirts. I'll show you my favourite one in a moment, but look at the colours of this section. Oh, I mean, I love it, but I just don't know. I feel It feels, feels very trend-like. More of those beaded bags. I saw quite a lot of girls walking around with these, so maybe these are popular right now, but they're not for me. There is Miss Rita Aurora herself on the photos. This dress I really wanted, but I don't think they had my size in it, but it's, it screams me. This dress, however, I also really like, but I feel like it's going to be a bit too long. I'm only five foot three. <laughs> this was on the other side of like where the front doors are, and they had a lot of this kind of material. I guess these are for summer because I wouldn't just you wouldn't just wear them out and about. They've got holes all over them. But they had it in that color, and they also had this one, which I much prefer. I mean, this looks so cool, but again, 
I just, I just scared of it be itchy. This reminded me of homemade paper. If you don't know what that is, please search it up. It looks exactly like that. And I just, I don't think this is cute, but I like the back of it though. <laughs> Going towards the more like denim section of my shop and my mum was looking at these denim skirts. We love them, but oh my God, this denim bomber jacket screams at me. I have a grey one of it, but I just realised I don't need probably two. So this is me talking myself out of it and walking away <laughs> because I would have got it. I would have got it, but then I reminded myself we don't need two denim jackets. Like, don't be crazy. I'll show you some more of the models in this section. We love to see it. I mean... It's just, I love the pop of red at the bag. I mean, we love it. But this, look how cute this skirt is. I love a denim skirt. And this is like a huge one. I did feel like it could be a little bit too long for me, however. Um, but as I said, this is the denim section. So they had loads of different pieces everywhere. This top had like one of those lettuce hems. Please let me know. I've heard a lot of people hate lettuce hems at the moment. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is some of the stitch section. I thought I'd quickly show you some of it because I know people go crazy for the stitch stuff in Primark. Personally, it's not for me, but I know everyone likes their own thing. We then have the Lakers, Chicago Bull section. I don't. I think this is an American thing because I don't really know what it is. But I love like how baggy the um, joggers are. They also had this like kind of art section with Vincent Van Gogh, which is... Um, pretty random and it's right next to the harvard stuff but this is me comparing my height to the size of these jo joggers because look at me i'm small that would take at least another i don't even know how big they are they're, they're just so big they had the flared leggings i did want these like a few weeks ago but they still just don't have my size they're all of like the larger sizes so then it is super annoying but maybe one day we might, we'll be able to get them and again some of this weird fabric this one doesn't look as bad though so i don't know I do love me a floral skirt, but I'm just not in the mood for getting summer stuff yet because the UK, right now, it could be winter again. Like, we're in the middle of April and it is horrible. This is at the other end of my store. They had some more Rita Ora stuff. That yellow dress screams me. Some people say it looks like your nan's, um, your nan's curtains, but I don't care because I love a floral and this, I just, I love the new collection. I really do. This denim top, however, is cool and I would have liked it actually, but I don't like strapless tops. I just feel like they're not, they just don't hang on to where I want them to or I'm just too wussy. <laughs> and this was another one of their longer dresses. I like that there's a lot of longer dresses about now. You don't see so many short ones, which is kind of crazy. And then I just quickly thought I'd show you some of these sets in the underwear section. I know a lot of girls love these and I love them too. I love this peach one, obviously, and this grey one, just as cute. But let's get into the haul. Let's do a haul. Now, if you're wondering, why is it not in a Primark bag? Um, because it split. We we love when that happens. You know, that is just such a vibe. That is... <laughs> I tried to put it in another bag, but we're just going to take everything out and let's just talk about it. Also, yes, I am straight into my pyjamas because I got home and it is freezing here. When I was in the city, it was all right. It was sunny. It was nice. Come back home, raining. It's horrible and it's cold. So comfies are on. I hope you've got your comfies on. I hope you have a warm drink. I hope you've drunk it already, maybe. We have quite a few things to get through. I, did... I said to you earlier that I wanted to spend like 50 quid. I think we went over that a tad. I think I spent 63 at the end. Ooh, it would have been more. It would have been more. Ended up getting one makeup ring, three sets of nails, two skincares, two pieces of underwear and two pairs of shoes. What's with all the twos? Manifestation two, two, two. Do the skincare and makeup last. We'll do the quick little odd bits first. When you go to Primark, you need to top up on your little underwear sets because what happened to them being five pound, by the way? Actually, what happened to them being five pound? Because this was seven quid. So we're not happy about that, but it's probably fine. Also, I've completely messed this up, so you can't even see that it's cute, but it's like, it's a little top. Little top, and it's got matching pants at the back. I find that really cute, and it's white. They had so many colours of this, and I wanted all the colours, but I was like, not for seven pound each. Like, that's a bit crazy. Like, if I went and bought five of the sets, that would have been 35 pounds, by the way. We hate that. And also, the, you know, like, the nice sets. If you've been to Primark, you'd know. But these kind of, like, flowery, kind of, like, lacy, I guess, kind of sets... This is now eight pounds. <laughs> eight pounds, by the way. But I thought it was cute because, you know, spring, I think, well, maybe actually summer. It's got flowers on it. I don't know. I liked it. Also, my 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 chair keeps squeaking and it's driving me nuts. I got two pairs of shoes. I feel like you're going to laugh at me because they are, one of them is very school-like. And I'm, I know you're going to be like, why would you want to wear something like that? 
Pinterest, okay? Pinterest is like the whole thing I'm trying to go for right now. I don't know what to wear. I know a lot of people say, oh, don't wear trends, don't wear all this stuff. But I'm a person who does not know what to wear. Like, I hate everything in here. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. So then every time I go out, I'm like, oh, I need to find some clothes that I actually like. So then I just go to Pinterest and search some outfits and then buy those things for the outfits. These are two little pairs of shoes that I got. I got these like kind of like I guess they're kind of made of linen, which is a bit, a bit weird. But these are like kitten heels. It was a tiny little heel on the end. And these are kind of made of linen. Like can you can kind of hear it? It's like a fabric-y kind of thing. These were £14. Maybe last year, the year before them, I bought some kitten heels from Primark and they were a fiver. Five. These are 14. <laughs> but I like these. I did try them on the shop because these scare me because these bit can also like hang off your ankle and not look cute. But these actually have like a buckle system so you can tighten them which is good. And they also have a padded sole. So, I mean, these, it could work. I don't know. Do they make my feet look long though? <laughs> then, uh, yeah, here comes the schoolgirl shoes. <laughs> I don't know, you know, I just saw them, I thought they were cute. And I tried them on and they just, they fit snugly, you know? So they have like a double kind of buckle thing and they've got a little heel as well. They had a lot of like belay, flat belay, belay, belay flats, um, which I tried on as well and I did like them, but... I just don't know yet. They had them in denim as well. And I tried the denim ones on. Not sure. I just wasn't, I wasn't wowed by them. But I did like the beige ones. So I just decided between the beige ones and the black ones. I ended up getting these ones. Because them ones are beige, what I just brought. So I don't need two pairs of beige. So we went for these. Hopefully they're nice. Hopefully you get the vision. When I like show you what I mean when I'm going to wear by them, maybe you'll get my vision. Let's do all the makeup and skincare stuff. All of the fun stuff. The only makeup item that I brought was the airbrush foundation, which is obviously supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't own the Charlotte Tilbury. I probably never will. It's too expensive for me. Um, and so I like decided to save up for it, but I just don't really get, I don't get the hype of it. And plus it's not a very like high coverage thing. This says it's full coverage and weightless. So that then it doesn't, so if it's, this one's full coverage, it doesn't really mean it's going to do the thing what the Charlotte Tilbury one does, but... Maybe it's for us girls that want the coverage, but also want the airbrush kind of thing. I don't know, but I got this in the palest shade, which is in ivory, and it was £6. As you also saw from the video, I wanted to get, like, the dupe of the Tarte concealer, but they only had, like, shade 5 and above, which is, is not me. Plus, there were some girls there, like, touching them all. Didn't like that. They were kind of, they, I think they were searching for one that wasn't already open, but they were the same kind of skin colour as me. And, like, if I'm not going to buy that shade, which was shade 5... I don't think they should either because it was not it was not gonna I was not gonna match you girl but we we let it be. In terms of skincare, I did not see these last time I went there, so this is why I picked them up. We have the kombucha glow moisturizer. I don't even know what that means, but it's vegan. It's got a vitamin E and shea butter. Is it shea butter? It looks like this though. I love the packaging. Orange is the thing, you know, orange is literally the colour of my walls. So this is really cute. I then got this. This is the Avocado Recovery Serum. Looks like this. I mean, they haven't done a very good job with, like, putting them in the boxes because they're all sideways. I got this because it reminded me of, like, is it Glow Recipe that does a, um avocado thing? Which I think is super, super, super strange. I love eating avocado because, I mean, can I put it on my face? But that is how she is. I was about to tap on it, but then I know people don't like the tapping. So we won't. I'm going to open it and give it a sniff. Doesn't smell like anything crazy, so it should be all right. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, that is her. And she was, how much was she? Four pounds. This was four pounds as well. And then I got three sets of nails. These are the press on nails that I always wear. These are what I'm currently wearing as well. They're just, they work and the glue is crazy. Like these, ugh. these will stay on my nails for like, two weeks which i know is kind of crazy for stick-ons but i don't know what they put in these for them to work for so long and plus they're like two pound three pounds so we'll take it these are the designs that i got i got these glazed stiletto glosses so they're kind of like a little blue frosted kind of look and i have these coffin glosses as well but they're pink and they've got sparkly tips on it and then i got these just pointed glosses which i think are the same like these and they have like little hearts on them and stuff so cute and i mean this will keep me going for the next two two months basically so by the next time i go to primark i don't need to buy any nails because i have a little my little stash that's everything i ended up getting for 63 pounds if we think about it is 
quite a lot of hours of work for a UK person. Um, but, you know, it's fine. We now have to wait another month until we go again so we can start saving again. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you have spotted anything in Primark that you have wanted or you have picked up yourself and if you like it or if you don't. I hope to see you in the next video.